Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testprepinsight.com. Today I'm gonna be running down our list of the best PE exam prep courses. We've used and tested out a bunch of different PE review courses and study products at this point, and today I'm gonna cover our top three. So if you're ready, we've got a lot to get to. Let's hit it. Okay, let me start by saying that since I'll primarily just be covering the big ticket items in this video today, if you find you need more detail at any point during this video, we also have a full written guide over on our website that you can check out. The quickest way to find that is probably just to Google Test Prep Insight Best PE Exam Prep Courses. All right, since I personally don't like those sort of countdown videos, let's get straight into our pick for the best overall PE exam prep course. And for us, that's Civil Engineering Academy. And they nab our top spot for a few reasons, but primarily for the value they provide. The full-on CEA course costs just $700, which is about $1,000 cheaper than School of PE and close to $2,000 cheaper than PPI to pass, two of CEA's biggest competitors and also the other two companies on this list. Basically, Civil Engineering Academy is an incredible value with a price point that is just a fraction of what others charge. But here's the thing, this course isn't some cut-rate bargain course. Civil Engineering Academy's curriculum is really strong and they have some of the highest quality study resources that we've reviewed. The course revolves around 10 modules that consist of video lectures and practice problem explanations. The instructor and founder of CEA, Isaac, provides high-level instruction around each of the topics that correspond to the breadth portion of the exam. He covers high-level theory, notes, and must-know equations before diving into practice problems. And that's actually where you'll get the meat of your value with CEA, the video practice problems. Isaac efficiently and effectively cuts through problems by cross-referencing equations in the reference handbook and solving for the given facts. I personally love these short practice problem videos. And by the way, if you wanna see some samples of what I'm talking about with these video solutions, make sure to check out that written guide that I just mentioned. There's a bunch of screenshots over there. The link will be down below in the description. But in addition to those tools that I just mentioned, CEA also provides two full-length practice exams for the breadth portion of the PE civil exam and a practice exam for each of the five depth sections, plus some bonus theory questions and supplemental questions if you purchase their recommended practice books. In short, this is a solid and comprehensive prep option and you shouldn't be fooled by the price tag. Now, if there are two things to knock with the Civil Engineering Academy course, it's that they only cover the PE Civil exam and there are no live classes. So if you're taking the exam for another discipline or if you're the type of student that needs live instruction, I suggest checking out the other two courses that I'm about to cover. But if you prefer driving your own studies and hammering practice problems, this is likely your course. Okay, so the number two course on our list is School of PE. And in contrast with Civil Engineering Academy, they actually offer live classes and cover the other disciplines like chemical and mechanical. In fact, together with PPI, the other course on our list, they're about the most robust study package available. School of PE offers everything. Live online classes, full length breadth and depth practice exams, hard copy review books, a quiz generator for creating practice problem sets, everything. Honestly, the list goes on and on. But I would actually say the highlight of this program isn't the mountain of tools and features that they offer. It's actually the structure of their coursework. Basically, in short, School of PE has a really streamlined curriculum. We found their study plan to flow naturally with subject matter grouped into sequential lessons that just makes sense. A couple other courses we reviewed, which didn't make our list, have curriculum to just jump around and feel sporadic. This type of unorganized approach can make refreshing your knowledge and building on that tough. In stark contrast, School of PE has a streamlined study plan that efficiently cuts through subject matter in a logical and methodical way that makes learning or often relearning material very easy. If you like things orderly, like me, you'll really like the curriculum structure with School of PE. And as for the quality of the material itself, we struggled to find any negatives. The live classes were rock solid, the practice problems are realistic and have very good corresponding solutions, and their hard copy PE review guide is easy to digest and well integrated with the digital materials through a QR code system. And the online learning hub is clean and easy to navigate. That might actually be one of the most underrated aspects of this course, their learning hub, which is organized around a personalized study schedule and it's intuitive and easy to use. Then in terms of cost, I'd say School of PE is somewhere in the middle of the spectrum. Their live online course costs around $1,700 with the on-demand version around 1,600 bucks. This means they're more expensive than Civil Engineering Academy, as I already mentioned, but also about $1,000 less than their main rival, PPI, who I'll get to here in a minute. However, it is definitely worth noting that School of PE, as well as Civil Engineering Academy and PPI, who I'll get to here in a second, do frequently run sales and special promotions, so be sure to check the description below for coupon codes, I'll do my best to keep that description below the video screen updated with the most current discounts that I can find. I think in most cases for the School of PE course specifically, you can expect to save at least $300 with one of their frequent promos. All right, so the final course to discuss today and third on our best list is PPI to Pass, which I've already mentioned a couple times. 
And I just want to jump right into it by talking about the elephant in the room, the price of this course. So as I've already alluded to, PPI is not cheap. In fact, they're far from cheap. They're about the most expensive prep option in the PE space. Now, don't get me wrong, they're basically the gold standard for PE exam prep, but this course is pricey. Their live online package retails for around $2,900, and their on-demand package costs about $2,600. Yeah, but before you just hit the fast forward button, there's two things you need to know about PPI. They've got about the best live classes and prep books in the space. Of course, they also have practice questions with in-depth explanations, simulated exams, quiz generators, performance reports, and all the other features that School of PE does, but it's the classes and books that make this course. And let's actually start with the books. So PPI to Pass provides some of the most respected and widely used engineering reference manuals in the field. In fact, there's probably a good chance you've already heard of PPI's reference manual. This text provides every last detail you could possibly ever need in the breadth portion of the exam and beyond. But it's not just the sheer quantity of material in these books. PPI manages to take some extremely complex and difficult material and distill it down into easily understandable and actually readable sections. I personally found the style and formatting of these books to be particularly helpful with callouts to the most important equations and key points. Bottom line, other courses even use PPI's books for a reason. They're the best in the game. Then, in addition to their comprehensive written materials, PPI also gets high marks for their live classes. Their instructors are some of the best teachers we've come across and do a great job communicating difficult topics. And as I'm sure you've experienced at some point, some instructors have a mastery of the material they teach but can't actually teach for a darn. However, the PPI instructors do an awesome job breaking down and communicating some tough concepts. And in terms of format, no matter which exam discipline you're studying for, the delivery of the live classes is the same. Your instructor appears in the corner of the screen and makes notes on the digital whiteboard on screen. And there's also a cool little chat function in the bottom corner as well to interact with your teacher and other students. Together, it's a well-designed package that we found to be extremely effective for delivering live lessons. All right, so that does it for the detail in this video. So let's get to my final verdict. But before I forget, I should mention that since you're studying for the PE exam, we give away a free prep course every single month to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter. Everyone is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know, it takes less than 10 seconds to enter, and hey, you never know. You could win one of the prep courses that we've talked about here today. Okay, so final thoughts. Which course should you go with? Well, in the end, I think it really comes down to a couple factors. Primarily, your budget and learning style. If the firm you're working for is going to pay for your prep course, then you might want to think long and hard about PPI to pass. Taking price away, they're more or less the gold standard. However, if you want a PPI-like course in terms of comprehensiveness with live classes and a boatload of features, but without the high price point, then School of PE is an awesome option. I personally love the School of PE course. And finally, if you're studying for the PE civil exam and you want to go the self-paced route and study on your own time, then I would lean towards the Civil Engineering Academy. They take our editor's choice pick primarily for their strong combo of quality and value, and I do not think you can go wrong with them. Anyway, that's all I have for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. And again, if you want to learn more about any of the companies we discussed today, or again, see that full detailed written guide that I mentioned earlier, make sure to hop on over our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. We have a ton of great content out there. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.